Lesbians. Should we do this? And then start up Layers of Fear 2 tomorrow? Does that sound like a good idea? Would you guys be cool if we did that? I think we might do that. Okay. So, if we're going to do that, I need to change the stream information again. So... Is that even a category on stream? Mixed messages? It is. Oh, wait, nope. I did the wrong thing. Missed messages. No, that's not a category on Steam. Or on Twitch. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. I guess I'll do games and demos. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll do horror for tags. Oh, that's not a result. Why is that not a result? Weird. Okay. Finish Layers of Fear 1. Gonna try out missed messages. Okay. Let's try this out. We're gonna play this game. And then tomorrow... Shut up. Tomorrow we will go in and do Layers of Fear 2. So, let us start this up. I need to mess with my sources so give me one moment turn off display capture play now oh there's a fan pack five dollar fan pack Con contains wallpapers okay i was reading that thanks thanks game you have missed messages messing with the settings really quick. Let's actually turn it back up. That's fine. That's really loud. Like the, the audio settings are super sensitive. Alright. So, let us start it. No. There we go. Right. You have missed messages. Start. Oh, I should have done about. Oops. Trigger warning. There are mentions of suicide and self-harm in this game. Great. Perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. 1.09 p.m. I need to turn this down. Because Jesus Christ. Why is it so loud? That's fine. Okay. So, laptop. Work stuff. AX plus BY plus C CZ equals D. What even is a four-dimensional shape? Ah, I need to work, but I'm so bored, I can't focus. Yo, Discord! Gosh, Jeff's iPhone wants to send you a note. What's this? Should I accept it? No. Work. Hmm, planes. After some time, I start to lose focus. Fuck it. Let's do it. So cute! Actually, it's super adorable. Send a meme back. Send back another meme. Thank you for the dog. I wonder if she'll respond. Also, who even uses Mac? Okay. Uh-oh. You're welcome, heart. So, Pastel Princess's I MacBook Pro. What are you up to? Hey, Layers of Fear 2 has just finished, guys. Get back to work. Uh, working, but can't focus. Nice. Same. That's a mood. God, GF's iPhone wants to send you a note. Oh no, I feel that. I hope I'm not distracting you. I can't focus. I am procrastinating with makeup right now. You're not distracting. Spotify. Let's do that one. Yo, Discord. I'm open Discord. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, me too, actually. Working on a multi-variable problem set right now. We should stay together. Yeah, sure, let's do it. I'm in room 206. Come by whenever. This is how white people get murdered, by the way. I'll come by tonight. Can't wait. Alright. 
Later that night, I went out to meet Goth Gia. Before I left, my roommate opened her door. You're leaving? When will you get back? Probably after nine. Oh. Why? Um, no reason. Okay, bye then. Wait! Uh, before the day ends, happy birthday. You remembered? No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course I remembered. Oh. Thank you. No, thank you for being my friend. Oh, Why are you telling me this? I just thought, life is so short. Why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend, too. Aw. Haha, <laughs> I'll see you later. I just realized I'm not fucking recording. Well, YouTube's never gonna see this. That's fine. I can take it out from the... I can cut it out from the stream later. From the VOD. I met up with Goth Gia. She told me her name. Amy. We laid out a blanket on the roof and started to study. Although we planned on working, we ended up getting lost in conversation. Arts. So you're into makeup? Hell yeah I am! God, can you imagine being so powerful you could transform into different people? Because I can. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen Contouring 101 by uh, Sailor J? If the men find out we can shapeshift, they're going to tell the church. God is a woman. Uh, expensive. Makeup is so expensive though. I know! An eyeshadow palette can cost 50 bucks. That's 50 cheeseburgers. And imagine being caught in the rain when you have a full face of makeup on. Not good, bro. Not good, bro. Not good, bro. Imagine needing to cry but holding it in because your foundation costs the equivalent of 20 shamrock shakes. Yo, they're really going hard for the McDonald's sponsorship, aren't they? So true, haha. <laughs> I like Sky. Sky's gorgeous tonight. I know, right? I'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the sky is in pretty colors. Yo, same. Big mood. What do you think of when you look at the sky? Nothing. For once, only a feeling. Damn. Nothing? You know when your mind is constantly noisy? Literally all the time. I look at the sky and realize it's so much bigger than me. My problems mean nothing compared to it, and my mind quiets. That's so poetic. Airdrops. So many strangers did you- So how many strangers did you airdrop besides me? Everyone that showed up. Maybe five? Did you meet all of them? Nah, only you. I'm the only one. You're also the only one to send something back. What did you reply? I don't know. Bored. Wanted to meet people? Meet people? Yeah, I have a lot of friends, but I want more. Especially close ones. You don't have enough right now? Well, I used to have close friends, but we grew apart. I feel you. It's always sad when someone you shared close, personal moments with with grows distance. It's weird because, like, there are periods, like, in the middle of sentences, randomly, and it really throws me off. It's left a void in my heart, you know? And I try to fill it by meeting new people, talking, dating, sleeping around, but no matter how many people I meet, I'm still lonely. Filling the void. Is that what you're doing right now? Trying to fill the void with me? Maybe. Yeah, close friends who you can trust anytime, anywhere are the best. But there's gonna be times where you have none. During those times, I try to improve myself and learn to love the version of me that is now alone. Huh. Learning to love yourself is hard. That, that's a fucking true statement right there. Let time pass. Time flew in the blink of an eye. Night fell. It's getting late. Yeah, we should head back. This was fun. Text me or airdrop me. I had turned my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. Oh! Uh-oh. When I came back home, I was cold. I felt cold, nervous, but I didn't know why. Did our roommate kill, our kill themselves? Door. Don't come in. Call the police. They'll know what to do love me don't come in the room oh no when they arrived i felt myself looking down on the scene myself her the police that eventually came the 
disembodied feeling and heard myself scream endlessly. She killed herself. My disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the surreal circus I found myself in. I heard strangers and friends alike talk. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? The second floor. You probably didn't know her. May? No, but that sucks. Most paid the way she went, but didn't miss her. But I remembered her smile, her laugh, the way she'd be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for her and them. I couldn't help it. I hoped she was still there. Still here. It was only during the funeral that the reality sunk in. At the funeral, I heard her singing. Now sad and slow. Oh, it's distorted a little bit. You're singing when everyone else forgot and her not being there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crashed down to reality. The pain hit. This time without the anesthesia shock. This was real. She was dead. We were putting her in the ground. The end missed. No one saw it coming. Could I have? Was there a message I missed? Are you serious? Oh my god, there are multiple endings? What? A heavy blizzard stretched out for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May, is that you? Come back. She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hail, as if she was going somewhere better, as if she hadn't heard my voice, lost in the blizzard. Don't go, please, don't go alone. She disappeared into the snow. I'd missed my chance. Shit. I wake up in a cold sweat, fearful, but not sure why. What was that about? Never mind, I should start working. My roommate's door. She used to keep it open. Now it's usually closed. I remember that dream I had. Can I... Can I go say hi? Can I go talk to her? Ah, uh, I need to work. But that dream, I can't focus. What's this? Should I accept it? Work. I spent 30 minutes trying to understand, but ultimately get, ended up confused. Ah. Why am I a fool? A hooligan? An oaf with a PhD in buffoonery? That's weird. I hear voices. It seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. The door of my roommate may. Getting closer, I hear voices. Although my Chinese was bad, I could still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one. Tai Lan Li! Wei Xin Mi Bu. I don't know what any of that means. Too lazy. Why don't you? Her mother's fast. Lecturing Chinese sometimes paused for May's soft murmur of affirmation, then continued. I felt like I was listening to something I shouldn't have. Um, amazing! So I distanced myself from the door. Let's not make Overwatch references with a girl who literally kills herself, okay? I feel like that's a bad thing. Alright, get back to work. I attempt to focus back on my work and succeed for some time. I begin to lose focus, but people hate me. That makes it worse! I do some work and start wondering when I'll ever have to use this in real life. Where's Bill Nye when I need him to answer my important questions? Yo, fucking same! The noise from my roommate's room has quieted down. Door of my roommate, May. I wonder if I should check up on her. Knock. I hesitated, then knocked. For some reason, I feared what I might find. Hello? Hi, May. Yes? Um. Shit, what should I say? I just wanted to make sure you're okay. I heard noises from your room earlier. Aw, oh, thank you. I'm fine. Er, uh, well, I'm kind of sad, but don't worry about me. Do you want me to? Ha do you want to hang out with me? In case you don't want to be alone. 
I'd like that. But I have work to do. Take a break, May. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Aw, I could use a break, to be honest. And I miss you, too. Okay, hold on a sec. Whoa. Did you guys see that? It, like, cropped out a perfect square of her face. She went back into her room to get something. Was it a dildo? Oh. When she came back, we laid on the bed, looking out at the setting sun. Stuffy! Stuffy. So what are you holding? Oh, my pug. Haha. <laughs> I call him Potato. I love that. I love that. Pug. Potato the pug. Aw, he looks so well loved. Yeah, he is. My dad gave me him. That's so sweet. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? Haha, -ha, I forgot. You remember? Of course I did. She sang me happy birthday. Thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. No one else had remembered it either, but she had. So how have you been? Fine, just tired. If someone tells you that, they are anxious as fuck. That is, because I know that. I've been there. I've literally been there. If somebody tells you that, help them. Talk to them. Please. Help someone. Big mood. How so? I don't know. Like, a bone deep tiredness? Day after day. Do you think you're depressed? Um, maybe? I took antidepressants a long time ago, but felt like they didn't work. That sucks. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's the type of antidepressant? Maybe you need to try a different one. Uh, don't take my advice, actually. I know nothing. Mean either. Not just about this, but in general. Same. Has gotten better? Tiredness? Not really. By now... I kind of just want to die. Oh my god. Understandable. Are you suicidal? The music's changed. Um. Oh my god, sorry. Was that too blunt? Feel free not to answer. No, you're good. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. I feel like we all do, though. I imagine how it will go down, how it will look, smell, the aftermath, whether anyone would care that I was gone. Not just a- not just- oh my god. No, I can understand. You must be dealing with some shit. Please don't tell anyone. They might kick me out of school. That's the last thing I need. Of course, I won't tell anyone. Thanks. I know where you're coming from, I think. You do? Yeah. Yeah then I wouldn't have any problems. Okay, that was a weird way to phrase that sentence. But then I wouldn't have anything. After life, there's nothing. For me, if this is the only show I get, then why step out early? I'm glad you're alive, May. You're great. Maybe it's selfish, but I'm glad you're scared. I don't want you to go. You mean a lot to me. Thanks. <gasps> now kiss. Now kiss! I had a weird dream. Oh? What? It was about you, actually. It was kind of haunting. Oh my god, I need to hear this. You were in a snowstorm? And I called for you, but you didn't hear me. And I lost you. What does it mean? What does it mean? I have no idea, but it's stuck with me. Oh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. Here, if you're still scared by bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? What do you dream? Oh, disturbing. Someone always dies. Jesus fucking Christ! Somebody help this girl! Please! Oh, hey, thanks, virus and threat protection. Hey, guys, good to know? Good news? My virus protection did not find any malicious files on my computer. Like my most recent one, it featured you, actually. Did I die? In a bad or good way. Good. You watched me die. There was a massive epidemic that was going to wipe out the world. I got infected. I was going to die. Then you discovered the cure and I was saved. Wow, that's scary. I always knew I was going to save the world. 
Yeah, Dream, you really saved me. Oh yeah, what were those noises about? Hmm? Earlier, in your room. Ah, uh, my mom called. Sorry, did I bother you? No, she sounded really angry, though. Yeah, uh... She and I... Is everything okay with you two? We separated again. I don't know, every time my mom calls, I feel sick, angry. Do you want to talk about it? Talk about what? Why she makes you feel that way? You sound like a therapist. How are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? I just want to help you. Yeah, I know. The art for this game is fucking beautiful, by the way. I was always the golden child. When I was young, I was good at everything, so my parents never pushed me to work hard for anything. As I grew up, I started lagging behind because I didn't put in effort. The only thing I would put effort into was writing. They yelled at me when I caught me writing. Writers weren't engineers or doctors. Writing would never make money. Now my life is slowly falling apart. Instead of listening to me and helping me, my parents are yelling at me for wasting time playing games. Wow, thank you for telling me this. Wow, that's not the proper reaction to that. Wow. 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 That's fucked. Same. It's okay to be sad. Everyone, it is okay to be sad. It's okay to be sad. Everyone know this. Everyone learn it. Write it on your arm. It's okay to be sad. I hope they realize that it's normal and okay to get in a rut sometimes. Regardless, I believe you. I think that was supposed to say, I believe in you? But whatever. Also, does she have red eyes? Or is that just a weird shade of brown? Okay. Thanks. What, do you, what did you write about before your parents made you stop? Oh my god, it's embarrassing. You can tell me. Okay, you won't laugh? I promise. Harry Potter fan fiction. Hell yes. You said you wouldn't laugh. Sorry. I'm just surprised. Don't be ashamed. That's awesome. I love Harry Potter. Ugh. If you say so. I do say so. <laughs> what fan fiction? What exactly did you write? I was working on one fic. It had like 20,000 words before I had to stop. It was Harry Potter if Harriet was evil, gay, and promiscuous. Oh my god. I know, embarrassing, but back then I was proud. Did you write My Immortal? Has anybody here read the uh, Harry Potter fan fiction My Immortal? We might have to take a listen to that after this. There's a dramatic reading of it, it's fucking amazing. It had character arcs and a main plot and everything. No, that's brilliant. All the hours you must have put into it is mind blowing. If you ever dig it up, I'd love to read it sometime. Aw, oh, thanks. I've lost inspiration for that one. But maybe I'll show you something else I'm working on. Ooh. Ooh. Hint, hint. Wink, wink. <laughs> Anyways. What's that? What are you working on? A script for a game. Oh, that's cool. A psychological game? A relatable game? Is it this game? The game that we're in? Meta! Anyways. A game where the writing is actually realistic. I could date an anime waifu that I could actually see myself in real life. Meeting, dating, and maybe you hauling it with. Like, if you ever meet someone and the two of you un undeniably click, so much that you can you haul your stuff to her place so you can live together. Oh my god. Yup. I feel that in my bones. Good luck. I hope you can make that game. Is it Dream Daddy? Did she write Dream Daddy? <laughs> Thanks. I'm not sure if I'll ever, though. It'll be hard, and I don't know how I'll fund it. Also, I apologize that the screen keeps moving. I can move my mouse just a little bit, and it completely moves the screen. I'll probably just get a boring but well-paying 9-to-5 job like my parents want me to. Let time pass. We talked more about everything and nothing, from TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we knew it, evening dawned. I gotta go. I have work. I'm always down to hang again. Well, I hope so. You two literally live together. It really means a lot. Although I had work, I didn't regret talking to, with May one bit. Her door's open again. I wonder where she is. 
Okay. What's this? Should I accept it? Uh, we just did a lot. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna keep working. Hmm, planes. Some something something PIMDAS. After some time I started to lose focus. Yawn. Wow, time really flies fast. I kinda need to use the bathroom. Must be all that tea. Uh Door to the outside world. Bathroom. Oh my god. Does she look okay? That's not the question you ask there. Are you okay? You know, just fucking bleeding from my arms. I got scars all the way down. Are you okay? Yeah, she's fine. She's fucking great. Stupid. Dumb fucking question. Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I need to go. Hug her. Hug her. She's also wearing a white shirt. That's bad. That's not gonna mix well with the blood. Her skin is- or her- her skin. Her- her shirt is gonna turn pink in the wash. I want to say something, yet didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. I guess I'm not okay. I just say I am okay because it's a gut reaction. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. Especially you, you're so kind. I made soothing notions on her back. Why are you sad? I don't know, I... I don't really want to talk right now. That's okay, I'm here for you. I'm not a professional or anything, but when you need to talk, I'll always listen. Thank you again. Is there anything I can do? Just hug. It's been months since that day. May and I got, have gotten closer. I'd even consider her a best friend. In dark moments, we held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. Didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove to every therapist in town until we found one she liked. One night, she hugged me by surprise. May? Thank you. Me? For what? I, uh, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because I was sad, but I appreciate you, really. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, no you. No you, Uno Reverse. Later that night, she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted, powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help, and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. The end. Hope. There's something to look forward to after all. Thank you for playing. By Angela He, inspired by real life Evan and Junji Ito. Dude, that was really fucking good. I really dug that. Is there is there a third ending? Hold on. I'm curious. Ah. Missed messages endings. I just I'm curious. Uh, all endings. There are all, there are three endings. I bet, hold on. So there's the missed ending, the forgive ending, and the hope ending. Oh, wait, there's also the survivor ending. Okay. We're going to see what the other one is. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, essentially, the there's an ending called the forgive ending, and essentially what happens is, after your first playthrough, you do it again, but you still, you still go and hang out with the goth girl, Amy. And then it just says forgive. 
What's the survivor ending? Follow the same instructions as the hope ending, but during the scene in the bathroom, click on OK when May says she has to go. When the option to text her or ignore her pops up, click on text. Okay. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. Start. So we're gonna we're gonna just zoom through this because we've already read all this. Except. Oh, I didn't mean to. Except. So cute. Send meme back. I don't even know how I got to this menu. That's weird. I hear voices. Working but can't focus. Blah, blah, blah. I just want to see these under endings really quick. Let's see the makeup. The noise from my roommate's room has quieted down. Tell me I'm beautiful, mother. You're the cutest. Hi, you're the most beautiful. Be my babe retail. Yeah? Go out with me. Alright. Cool. So. Hi. fuck is this game this is a visual novel about um that revolves around the concept of suicide and depression it's very cool i've already played through it and i've already gotten two out of the four endings and right now i'm just zooming past it to see the other endings because they're very easy to do let time pass i grew addicted to amy smile damn yes kiss lesbians No, you. Oh, wait. Did you ever play Dagan Ropa? No, I haven't. There's a few of those games. Should I open the door this time? I'm gonna open the door. Oh, God. Oh, you didn't see that? It's gone now? But I went up to the door, and it said, it said it's happening again. I'm going to open the door, and I don't know how bad this is going to be. If it's too bad, I'm not going to show it on stream. The door fell heavier than usual as I opened the door. Okay, that's not too bad. I think I could show this. It's certainly not happy, though. Yeah. Yeah. Whew, that's bad. I appreciate your sensitivity. Yeah. Hi, dog. How are you doing? My dog has come to say hello. Do you wanna? We doki doki now. I mean, pretty much. This is doki doki without the literature club. Oh, forgive. I keep replaying this may moment. May would have forgiven me. Can I forgive myself? Oh, fuck. Okay, well, that's the other ending we wanted. Come here, dog. I need you. I need your love. Look at this sweet boy. Look at this sweet floppy boy. You're gonna get hair all over my new blanket, so thanks for that. Okay. Let's go into it again, and let's see the survivor ending. Aw, oh, yawny boy. Yawny boy. So cute. Oh, are you not a fan of the Roomba? I hear it. 
Okay, again, we're gonna just save. We're just gonna zoom through this. Did a sweet baby. Who's the cutest dog in the world? Who's the cutest dog in the world? Oh, who's the hairiest dog in the world? It's got a mouthful of hair. That was nice. My dog isn't even like moving. He just doesn't give a fuck right now. Listen. What's it in your hair, dog? Come here. What was that? Oh, it's just like a dust bunny. All right, Timmy. See you later. Have fun with the Legion stream. Uh, Poe is Path of Exile. Oh wait, I, never mind. I just now realized what you're asking. Yawn, yawny dog. I'm going crazy because I gotta work when it hits. Oh, that's rough. That's rough, Willie. Yeah, you're a yawny boy. You're so cute. Like I'm freaking out. I mean, hey, we'll be here when you get back, right? Super hyped, but also tired. Yeah, I bet, man. Hey, at least it's Friday. Do you work on the weekends, Wiley? Willie? You okay? You okay, friend? Take a break. I need it now. Yeah, short shifts though. Well, that's not too bad. It could easily be worse. Yeah. What is. You got gunk in your eye, doggo. Okay, stuffy. Oh, oh. Nugget's leaving. Nugget, is, Nugget does not want any part of this. He's like, What are you playing? Dad, I don't like it. I'm leaving now. Bye. <laughs> Alright, potato. And the birthday song. And then, how are you? Do I have to do all this again? I don't know if I have to do all this again. At least I can just skip through it. Uh, I understand. I'll help you. Some of these actually are different. Uh oh. I probably should be reading these. Let time pass. Okay, so now what happens is that we're gonna go to the bathroom and then. Decline. De decline. Work. So then when we go to the bathroom, we have to let her leave and then text her. Time flies by fast, yes. Okay, go to the bathroom. Then we come across May. Hey, how's it going? Everything okay in here? Wow, there's a lot of blood in here, huh? Oh, my love was on Streamlabs have disappeared. Cool, great, nice. I need to go, okay. And then shortly after that day, May moved out. I haven't heard from her since. Before she left, she'd written me a note. I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted, powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I finally opened my door. Text her. Hey, want to catch up sometime? I wonder whether she'll reply. I wonder whether she's still alive. Survivor. Surviving one night at a time. Thank you for playing. 
Okay. Well, I really dug that. That was very cool. Uh, on that note, I think we're going to end the stream there. Who can we raid? Who is currently streaming? Uh, let us stream Afro Sauce. I think that sounds like a good time. Actually, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna stream Af. We're gonna stream. We're gonna raid Afro Sauce. So I need to get the raid command, and then of course he's got the fucking freaky ass name with a whole bunch of different capitals and various things. Yeah, so tomorrow we will um, do Layers of Fear 2. Um, but until then, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Uh, have a great Friday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Actually, I need to wait. Is the raid going to work? Is it going to work properly? Are we fine? Yeah, we're fine. All right. See everyone tomorrow. Heart? My man. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. Shit. <laughs> what is it's farting tart. It's farting tart. Yo. What's up, farting tart? It's a tart. And it's farting. <laughs> <laughs> Fart farting tart is a uh, frequent viewer of Ray. Oh, really? Oh, hell dude, yeah. Dude, thanks for the raid, dude. Hope you're doing you well. Willy Willy. What's going on, guys? Go follow farting tart. Please. Dude, oh, dude, thanks for the raid. That's a fantastic game. <laughs> <laughs> God, such a good name, dude. Are you good? Yep. <laughs> I hate Jack for this part so much. God, he, he's, he's such like an asshole. The fifth element is. He's such an asshole. He's, he's not forgetting, though. though.